Oh, Bye. Well, talk to you guys. How are you? Great. Good. How are thank you? you? I'm great. I'm great. Well, first off, I guess because, you know, speaking to you from Toronto, we do have to thank you guys for bringing this film. It's world premiere here. I just wanted to know, I mean, Josh, let's just start with you. What was it like for you to be in that audience and watch the audience watch this film? I mean, it was a whirlwind. We didn't find out we got the interim agreement from the Actors Guild until the day before. So we weren't even sure we'd be able to like be there. So we were already like processing that and then getting to watch it in front of such a big theater at midnight with a rowdy crowd and Canadians who were like going buck wild. We, so <laughs> it was it was like a dream. We had such a fabulous time. Yeah, I mean, look, let's let's go back uh, the origin. Y'all Canadians can cut up. Y'all can get yes. up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we can. Oh, we can. I mean, I know that we all seem very prim and proper and polite, but nah. No, not at midnight. Yeah, no, not, not, not at midnight. So that was perfect showing for this film, I have to say. Um, yeah. Although it was past my bedtime, but it's okay. I watched all the coverage and everything. I got to tell you. There you go. But, um, but no, awesome. Really great response here. Um, okay, so Aaron, let's let's go back to the uh, origins of this because you guys upright citizens for Babe. You bring this out on the stage. You know, you're doing like a half hour thing. It has a different name, which you give homage to in this film. <laughs> I have to thank you. However, where in your brains did this even come from? It's it's uh, it's fascinating to try to <laughs> yeah right here I think to try to recall, but. <laughs> Honestly, we really wanted to, we'd been working together, Josh and I doing a variety show and other things like that around town. And we really wanted to write a two person comedic musical. And we, we can't remember who, but one of us w realized like, oh, you know, the parent trap, mostly because it's, it's filmed with one girl pretending to be two girls. So right. for that movie, it's mostly a lot of two person scenes. And we were like, you know, we could do like play the twins and then one of us play the mom and one of us play the dad. So it came out of really just, um, logistics it was logistically like all great art <laughs> like all great art um so oh, that's how budget. that came from yeah. and then you just sort of you know you just do the thing where you're like okay well if we're doing a comedic parent trap like it's funny that they're grown men and then the little girls love their parents and their parents are amazing so it's like okay so the parents should be awful you know you just kind of comedically twist and play with all the ideas so that's yeah. sort of where it came from the genesis Okay, so you know, on stage, especially uh, and, and on a comedic stage like that, you can get away with a lot. Yeah, no question about it. So my first question is, um, Josh, you could take this one because I am a Broadway babe. Like I love musicals. I have to say, I truly think the music in this is phenomenal. Like, thank you, it's so Thanks, so good. Bonnie. I cannot wait to get the soundtrack. I, I'm telling you, I have to listen to it in private on my watch. <laughs> sure, gonna, you know, understandable. Look, okay, all good. But I have to say, um, has this ever been discussed to, to take it to Broadway? And would it have to be tamed down a little bit? I don't well, know. I, people forget that theater, even Broadway, is like pretty radical and out there. I mean, like yeah. Book of Mormon was a huge hit. And it says, yes. I'm going to curse, so Bonnie, you can bleep this later. But Book of Mormon <laughs> does say the lyric, fuck you, God, in the ass, mouth, and cunt. So sometimes <laughs> when people are like, your movie's outrageous. I'm like, well, that was on Broadway and a massive hit in 2008. You know? Still running, yeah. Yeah, so I, do think, I like, saw a lot the original. Of times... I saw it on Broadway. I, I agree. And, and, but but seriously, I mean, even though Larry Charles could probably take this to Broadway, like, I don't know. Like, you got to look at those South Park guys. Like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, this is a major potential, I think. <laughs> well, Bonnie, it sounds like you want to come on as a producer. And I'll yeah, you know, we'll have you. I, we will talk <laughs> after this interview because I would back this. No, well, with fifteen cents that I have, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. We Every can make it counts. work. <laughs> okay, so let let's talk about the phenomenal cast that you've acquired as well. Uh, I mean, come on, Aaron. I mean, to have you know broadway veterans uh I, I, you know it, it just blows my mind i know How, did they did they you know immediately sign on like nathan lane uh, megan Mullally. i mean we know that they they've pushed limits before yeah um, i mean megan the, the stallion i mean i wasn't surprised she's amazing but were you guys kind of pinching yourself as like were, were they just all on board right away Aaron definitely take... we were th th this sounds like a pat press answer but those were our first choices wow. and Nathan got um attached first and he read it and he really loved it but as he says he wasn't sure he wanted to do it 
Um, and he met with Larry Charles and he really loves and respects Larry. Yeah. And then we, Josh and I and Nathan went out to a dinner that lasted like four or five hours. They were turning the lights on, kicking us out of the restaurant. And that's when he was like, okay, boys, let's make a picture. <laughs> um, and so- Wait, really quick, Nathan says something hilarious where he's like, I read it and it was outrageous and hilarious. I didn't know I should be the one to spit the ham. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then, so when we went and Megan- um, so Nathan was already attached, which maybe made it easier for Megan, but she was like on board right away, but she is very down to clown. So that yeah. one is like, she is, she is so brave and crazy and, and just like amazing. So, um, and then once they were on, we were off to the races because Bowen's our old friend. So, yeah. you know, he, he was, a um, we're thrilled. He said yes, but he was kind of an easy yes. Yeah. And so it just, uh, yeah, I mean, we were just so ecstatic and they are so incredible and uh, dreams to work with. Everyone should try to hire them whenever you can. They're both oh. incredible. I, yeah, they're, they're, everybody is so brilliant in this. And that's what I love about it too, is because they, they're taking it seriously, even though, yeah. like, okay, so Josh, you went there with the spitting of the ham. Okay, the sewer boys, I mean, <laughs> oh, good Lord. I mean, honestly, the grossest characters I think I've ever seen in a film. I find like, them I to be you. beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, angelic. But, but it's a matter of opinion. I, I'll leave it at <laughs> Yeah, sure. Look, I have two boys. I don't think I would have ever called them sewer boys, but whatever, it's all, it's all good. But, uh, you know, I to, to what Nathan did, uh, like, I can't even imagine the outtakes, which we do see some at the end yeah. of the film. I, I think you could do a whole DVD with just the outtakes of this movie. You definitely could. <laughs> when he shot that scene, we had a hairdresser who was gay, if you can believe it. And he came oh, really? up to Aaron after <laughs> and was like, girl, that's some John Waters shit right there. People are going to lose their minds. And we were like, okay, we're making the right movie. I know. I was texting Josh right away. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say, because it really does have a, it, this totally has an homage to John Waters, like another one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Honestly, yeah. he's so good. Has he seen this film? I don't think so yet that I'm yeah, aware of, I, but we're yeah. dying for him to see it. We would be so honored. Oh, you <laughs> the got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, he will love this. I, there's no question about it. Was there anything when you guys were making it? I mean, look, you've got Larry Charles on board. You know, he's pretty open to pretty much anything. I mean, yeah. Who hasn't seen Borat, like, honestly, and, and he's, he's just so brilliant, but was he very, um, you know, honest with you guys in terms of like, mm, I don't know if we could do that or. Sort of the opposite. He was big okay. on like the movie should go for it even harder. He was like, if this is a film that doubts itself for even a single moment, people will smell it and the whole thing falls apart. So he yeah. pushed us to go crazy. I mean, there's lots of things we didn't do just because it felt like it doesn't work for a movie or or there's things you do to just yeah. make the piece work, but never were we like, this is too outrageous. Like that was always sort of like, if if the idea feels like it'll work, don't, don't hold back, you know? Yeah. I, okay. So it, did he want, I guess he wanted to keep it um, as true to your original as possible. Mm -hmm. It sounds like. Totally. And, and let it have that sort of kinetic energy and feel like it's, you know, handheld and you're seeing it in the room and it feels like electric and dangerous and it's a runaway train. So I think like, there were elements of just like how to make the whole thing cohesive and work together that we like discussed, but it was incredibly rare that Larry Charles said we shouldn't do that. He was often saying the opposite. Yeah, no, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, Aaron, did you want to add anything to that? No, no, I just, he, he was just so instrumental to the whole movie and um, really it was so protective and um, yeah, he, he was wonderful. A dream, truly a, a dream. You couldn't have yeah. asked for someone better. A hundred percent. And, you know, as it goes on and on, I don't want to give anything away for people who are probably chomping at the bit to see this i know my uh my 31 year old son is that's for sure I can okay tell you that. oh yeah 100 percent. um he cannot are you gonna go with him and cover his eyes at the scary <laughs> <You know what>? <laughs> take his wife yeah yeah mom should not be with him yeah 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 i think you know but um we well actually we have the same kind of taste so um oh, maybe we would do it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> apple doesn't fall far i'm hearing yeah yeah, yeah true 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 but <laughs> you know i i, I just no, I forgot what I was going to ask you because I got all excited. But it, it just <laughs> the fact that this is coming out, um, you know, Aaron, I, I, I just, what are you expecting, like, from audiences? Even given the fact that the, the, the few audiences that have seen it already, you yeah. know, what kind of responses have you been getting? I mean, uh, we've been getting such great responses, and even the the critics, which we thought would just despise this, have have mostly gotten it. And even the ones who don't get it are still like. 
I mean, that ham scene's pretty funny, you know? So I think there's something, I think people are responding to it. I think people are um, excited to go to the theater and like have a movie that you kind of scream at and feel like communal with rather than a lot of the comedies now are good, but they're more like dramedies and they're more like have a, like a lot of heart and they're not going for laughs. Like, whereas this is just, I think you have to respect, even if you, if it's not your taste, it's like, we're just going for it. And yeah. I think audiences respect that and are ready to see just people just go like foot to the accelerator, to the ground. Like we're going. <laughs> Get I'll say we've, we've gotten to watch it a few times and it's always a blast to watch a packed theater, like react together, but no one's gotten it as hard as Canada, baby. Toronto, yeah, really, really it was like so fun in Canada. So really I, I'm, fun. I'm, ex we were very excited to hear it was going to expand to Canada on this opening weekend, just because we had such a great time in Toronto. And the right crowd truly got it. They invented yeah. comedy, Canada. Yeah. Canada. So yeah, we well, hello. Bow down. I mean, look who we've given you for goodness' sake. So this is like this long, right? Yeah. Andrea Martin just saw the movie it. the other night. Andrea Martin. Oh, uh, yeah. Famous, hilarious Canadian. <laughs> well, and here's the thing. I mean, Nathan Lane will probably bring a lot of his his friends. Like, I, I mean, it's just, it's yeah. really, um, it really was truly the most unique and absurd cinematic experience I've ever had wow. in my life. And thank I do you. want to thank you for that because, <laughs> thank as you, you so. said, we really need that right now, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> and think it's like, so. you know, obviously I think people like to talk about the like outrageous and offensive parts of which we understand there are, but really yes. our intent was that it's just like, it's absurd and crazy and silly and pushing like a hundred directions. And one of them is offensive, but it's fun yeah. when people get it that they're like, it's really just a big, joyful, crazy, absurdist movie more than it is just like a naughty movie. Like we, yeah. we just love to like celebrate all the things that make us laugh. Yeah, I got. I gotta say, the end kind of made me a little mm, okay. Uh, all right, whatever. understandable. Yeah, okay, but yeah, <laughs> interesting. I don't want to uh, go on anyway. Um, okay, how do you guys top yourselves? Like, where do you go from here, honestly? Or bottom ourselves? <laughs> um, I don't know. We're having fun right now, just like rolling out this movie and letting it get to audiences, and then we yeah. have some other stuff that we're hoping to make with A24, but you know, we're still in the midst of a strike, so we're sort of having to wait for yeah. some of that to be alleviated. But yeah. Yeah. Well, well, listen, we'll I'm see what thankful. The future holds. Yeah, I'm thankful that you got the permission and 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 God bless A24. Like seriously, I know. We're right? We're very grateful for them. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep making more stuff and and for me so I, I do expect something at our film festival next year. So you've got like We got okay. we got to get we got to get in there. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> we can we do that. Get it together. Um and I listen again, thank you so much for your time to you. Thank you for this film. It is freaking hilarious. Thank and you. Uh, yeah, it, it's absurd. It goes there, but I love every minute of it. And again, the music is spectacular. I thank you it. so much. Thank you. Heard you. It here first, Canada. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, bye-bye. You too. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.